Recognize the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Shabbat, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Rosenstein, um, you already indicated that Mr. Strzok was removed for impropriety. It's beyond me how the other uh, people that were mentioned by the chairman and, and Mr. Smith were not removed for impropriety as well. But let me ask you, first of all, I assume that the team you put together, uh, you felt was going to be, that Mueller put together was going to be fair and unbiased, correct? Uh, correct. I, I selected Mr. Mueller and, and he made selected the, the team. Decisions. Right. Now, let me just review a few facts about the supposedly unbiased group of people that Mr. Mueller pulled together. Nine of the 16 have made political contributions. To be fair, let's just go through them in, in alphabetical order. First, Greg Andrus gave $1,000 to the Democrat running to hold the seat, the Senate seat, previously held by Barack Obama. He gave $2,600 to Democrat Senator Gillibrand, who just this week led the charge of Democratic senators demanding that President Trump resign. Uh, and oh yeah, Mr. Andrews gave zero to the Trump campaign, or, or to any Republican for that matter. Next, again in alphabetical order, Rush Atkinson. He donated to the Clinton campaign last year, again zero to the Trump campaign. Third, uh, Kelly Freeney contributed to both Obama campaigns uh, and to Hillary Clinton's campaign, zero to the Trump campaign. Next, Andrew Goldstein. Uh, he donated $3,300 to both Obama campaigns, again, zero to the Trump campaign. Fifth, Elizabeth Preloger, who clerked for liberal Supreme Court justices Ginsburg and Kagan, contributed to both the Obama and Clinton campaigns, and zero to Trump. Next, James Quarles. He's contributed to the Democratic presidential campaigns of Dukakis, Kerry, Obama, and Hillary Clinton, and, and Gore as well. He did contribute to former Congressman Chaffetz and Senator Allen, but he contributed over $20,000 to Democratic House and Senate candidates, and again gave zero to Trump. Seventh, Jeannie Ree. She actually represented, as was previously mentioned, Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation in several lawsuits. She's donated $16,000 to Democrats, contributed $5,400 to the Clinton campaign, and zero to the Trump campaign. Eighth, Brandon Van Grack contributed to Act Blue, the fundraising outfit organized to elect Democratic congressional uh, candidates, uh, contributed to the Obama presidential campaign, and of course, gave nothing to Trump. And finally, Andrew Wiseman, he contributed 2,000 to the Democratic National Committee, 2,300 to the Obama campaign, 2,300 to the Clinton campaign, and zero to Donald Trump. He's also the guy who praised the holdover acting Attorney General Susan Yates, uh, for defying President Trump on the travel ban. Now, my question to you is, how with a straight face can you say that this group of Democrat partisans are unbiased and will give President Trump a fair shake? Uh, well, uh, Congressman, I think it's important to recognize that uh, when we talk about political affiliation, that all demonstrates political affiliation. The issue of bias is something different. I've discussed this with Director Mueller, and he and I collectively have a lot of experience managing offices in the Department of Justice. We recognize we have employees with political opinions, and it's our responsibility to make sure those opinions <clears throat> do not influence their actions. <clears throat> Pardon me. And so uh, I, I believe that Director Mueller understands that and that uh, he is running that office appropriately, recognizing that people have political views, but ensuring that those views are not in any way a factor in how they conduct themselves in office. Well, when you say he's running it appropriately, I think Putting the committee, the people, his investigators together to begin this investigation in the first place is part of the investigation. And how these people, the group he put together, uh, is considered un unbiased, I, I don't know how anyone can possibly reach that conclusion. Y you know, when, when uh, this whole Russia was involved in our elections flap surfaced, uh, and you picked Robert Mueller to, uh, to lead the investigation. I was at first encouraged. Um, it seemed like a serious matter and it deserved a serious investigation. Uh, and I assumed, as many of us did, uh, that Mr. Mueller would pull together an unbiased team. But rather than wearing stripes as umpires and referees might wear, uh, I would submit that the Mueller team overwhelmingly uh, ought to be attired with Democratic donkeys on their jerseys, or I'm with Hillary t-shirts, certainly not with uh, let's make America great again. Uh, 
Um, and I think that's a shame because I think the American people deserve a lot better uh, than the very biased uh, team that they're getting uh, under Robert Mueller. And I think it's really sad. I yield back.